I am James and in this video we are working on a Dell Inspiron 13 5378 2-in-1 laptop and first step that we need to do is get the thing opened up so we are going to flip it over and we have a small crosshead screwdriver here so we are just going to work around removing these screws from the base all of these screws should be the same size and all should come out pretty easily. There's nothing hidden on this one. So we are just going to work around and take everything out. This particular machine is um, the Intel Pentium based model, uh, Pentium Gold, uh, rather than one of the Core i3 or i5 or i7 based models. However, internally they should be pretty much the same. Um, and this particular model has a mechanical hard drive rather than an SSD. So you might find there are some variances in models which have an SSD instead. Now with those screws removed we're going to take our pry tool and what we want to do is start releasing along the back edge, sorry this isn't very well focused, along here. Um, now the easiest way to do this I tend to do from the other side um, but I'll work from here so we want to push in our pry tool and try and release these clips we don't want to work along the front edge as actually once everything is released it kind of lifts up and forwards so we're going to start in each corner and then down the sides let's start on the side here actually because that sometimes makes it a bit easier um, this machine has been opened once before uh, which does make things a little bit easier so don't be surprised if you just need to use a little extra to get things going and then we're going to go here along the back and then along the vent here, I believe there are still some clips, but it's obviously a bit harder to pry um, just because you have like this mesh. So it's a bit awkward to do this because like I say, I normally sort of have the action from the other side. Maybe just use a bit of fingers there. Okay, and with that released, we then lift up and the insides of the machine are revealed to us. Now before we do anything more we are going to gently here just push down or pull down on the edges of the clip through sort of the black coating there and disconnect the battery that means we're not going to accidentally turn this on now this model, because it has the hard drive, we don't have the M2 connector here. Um, if you have a model which has a M2 drive, you'd find that and the M2 SSD here. Now the memory on this machine, we have these two small covers. So we can see the first and in this case only module that was pre-installed in this machine. We have a 4 gig module here in slot 1. And to reinsert that, we just push in and push down. And on the other side, we can see DIM2 is empty. So we're going to take our upgraded module here, slide it in, and push down. Uh, that's really all that is involved in adding the DIM modules. This is not too bad. Now all that is left to do is reassemble the machine. So first of all, we are going to re connect our battery. We then want to take the base for the system and now there are some magnets in here which um, actually help sort of line this up and we want to make sure it's in place and make sure we get it lined up along this front edge so kind of press down and get those clips in place first because that way everything going further backwards will be in the right place we then press down around 
And all that is left to do now is to put back our screws and fire the laptop back up. I hope you found this video useful. Um, I've done a few different guides for this uh, machine covering different aspects of it, so do check out my other videos. Um, hit a like if you found this video useful, and let me know in the comments what you've done to upgrade your Dell Inspiron 13 inch 2 in 1 system. Thanks for watching, and like I say, I hope this has been helpful.